technology from the Netherlands is transforming flood management in flood-prone regions in Kenya. Slam dams protect communities from vast rivers and also store water for use in the dry season. After trials in Nigeria and Burundi, the technology is now being introduced to Kenya. These large black rubber barriers are called slam dams. People living near water sources use them. Frederick Najunga lives just 50 meters from the Nagari Narok River. But when the floods came, his slam dams stopped the water from reaching his home. If I did not have these slam dams, the loss would have been severe. I was considering the value of my property, myself and my children, and I would have suffered a loss of nothing short of 40 to 50 million shillings, which is approximately 310,000 to 390,000 US dollars. Because if you consider the investments I have made on this land, you can come in and have a look. I would have lost a huge amount of money. The technology has another use they can be used to store water. So once the rainy season is over, the farmer can use the slam dams as a water source for his crops. It's a convenient and simple solution in the dry season. When it is time to store the slam dams, instead of discarding the water, he pumps it to water his crops. The crops grow, thrive and provide food. When he exhausts water from one slam dam, we store it and move on to the next slam dam. Slam dams made from heat-resistant rubber can store up to 8,000 litres each. Each slam dam measures 5 metres in length, 1.5 in width and stands a metre tall. To ensure effectiveness, slam dams must be placed closely together, forming a tight-knit barrier that prevents gaps where floodwaters could potentially leak through. They have a lifespan of up to 40 years. A slam dam is a, is a mobile flood barrier. Uh, it is made of rubber uh, and it is used for many purposes. Uh, in particularly in Kenya, we have used it for flood management uh, and we are also uh, using it now for uh, water harvesting. According to the government, floods caused by heavy rains between March and May this year destroy crops on over 168,000 hectares. The National Disaster Operations Center figures show that the floods claimed 291 lives and displaced 278,000 people. Africa Bureau, Vion, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.